So here is the measurement you are going to be using to cut out this trouser. First, I want you guys to pay good attention in this video. That's very, very important. Pay good attention. So the first thing is that you have to understand that I already fold this into two. So I'm cutting two fronts, like the two fronts of the trouser together. And this is the wrong side of my fabric. Yes, so once we have that, the first thing I'm going to do is to make a straight line at this edge. So I'm working with a perfectly straight line on my waist area. See that? Once I get that, I'm also going to get a straight line from this edge. So I will not be measuring these edges, these rough edges of the outfit. So here, I'm just going to make a straight line here. All the way straight down. You see that? So once I have that, the first thing I'm going to do now is to get my crotch length, my knee length, my calf length, and the entire length. So now, in order to get this crotch length, all you have to do now is basically simple. We are going to use our hip measurement. Our hip measurement divided by 4. If divided by four, we give us our crotch length. So number one, in order to do that, that's 35.5 inches. 35 divided by four. So I'm just going to go like this. Here. That's 17.5 divided by two. To give me a total of eight three quarter of an inch. That's 8.75. So from here now, I'll be getting my 8.75 8.75 inches I'm going to mark it at this place You see that? Also here, 8.75 inches I'm going to mark it right here So that is for my crotch length So I'm going to make a straight line here You see that? Just like this You see? So now, from my waist to my knee that's where we're going to get our knee measurement. So from my waist to my knee, you can measure it, but usually it's 22 inches for a tall person. That's what I usually use. 22 inches, and at this place, also 22 inches. You see that? 22 inches. See that? That's the second line. So now, from between your knee to your calf, is usually... 4.5 to 5 inches for a tall person. So here, 4.5 inches. Likewise here, 4.5 inches. That's for my calf length. See that? And now for the entire, I believe you can see what I'm doing. And now for the entire length itself, which is 40 inches. So from the waist right here, all the way down to 40 inches. From the waist to 40 inches. I'm going to mark my 40 inches here. From here also. I'm going to mark my 40 inches. I'm going to connect that together. See that? Let me come down a little bit. So from here, from here that I measure my length, I'm going to add an extra two inches for the sewing allowance, which is for the M, two inches, and I'm also going to connect that together so this is all the line that we're going to cut out our shape all together so once we have that this is all the thing we need so let's come to this side again and cut out our waist so now in order to get the waist this is all i usually do my waist which is 33 divided by 4 plus 1 that's my entire waist 
So here I have 33 inches, just like so. 33, so you're going to divide it. So, you can see, which gave us 16.5 divided by 2, which will give us 8.25. That's 8 to 1 quarter. So, plus that 8 to 1 quarter, we are going to add an extra 1 inch to that, which will give us a total of 9 1 quarter of an inch. 9 1 quarter of an inch. So, here now, just place your 9 1 quarter here. Simply connect and here at this down part also nine one quarter of an inch. Simply connect. You see that? So after getting that, that's for the waist. Now for our crotch extension and our lap. This is where this comes in. Our lap is twenty two inches. So you have to divide your lap into two places. That's twenty two divided by two, which will give us eleven inches. So that 11 inches, I'm going to add an extra half inch to that, which will be 11.5. That's our lap divided, our lap divided by 2 plus half. 2 plus half, which will give us, our lap is 11 inches plus half of an inch, 11.5 inches. So I'm going to mark 11.5 inches here. You see that? So now, in order to make a slant at this place, here, I'll go up here, measure this place at this place, here I have 2.5 inches, so I'll go up here also by 2.5 inches, right? 2.5 inches, and I'm going to mark that place, you see that? So once I mark that place, so once you get that, all we have to do now is basically to connect this place together, just like so. That's what I have. And here, all you have to just do is to connect this 2.5 like this, all the way to this place. This is what I have. So at this all part, I'm going to take out one inch from this all part, just like so. And I'm going to connect that together here, this end here, just like so. This is what I have. That's the upper part of our waist. So now the next thing is going to be at this down part. So in order to get this place, it's basically simple. From this crotch extension, which is 11.5 inches, I'm going to fold it back, which will give me my center point, just like so. And I'm going to simply mark all those places all the way down. Mark your center point here. Take it down here also. 11.5 inches. Mark the center point here, and I'm going to bring it to the end, which is the leg. And I'm also going to mark the center point at this place. So once you have all of the center points, all you basically have to do now is just to connect them together. And this is where our gator is going to be. This is where the center gators for the pants is going to be, all the way down, like this. See that? So once you get that all the way down to the leg. So once you get that, the next thing now is to simply put our other measurement here to connect for the core. So now for my knee circumference, it's basically very, very simple. All you have to do is just to put your knee circumference at this place. That is if you measure it. But if you don't measure it, that is not an issue. From this, our M, which is 14, I'm going to start with my M first. All I needed is the shape that will come all the way down. This, our M, is the most important to get that knee circumference. So now, let me come down a little bit to this side so you can see what I am doing here. So at this M, all you have to do is to divide your M by 2, which is 14 divided by 2, which will give us 7. So that's 7, you are going to divide that 7 by 2, which will give us 3.5 inches. So 3.5, I'll mark 3, and I'll mark my 7 at this place. So once you have that, on our calf measurement, is 16 inches, right? 16 inches divided by 4 at the same time, which is 8, divided by 2, which will give us 4. All you have to do is just to place it right here. 
four and uh, eight. You see what I have? So once you have this, all you have to do is to know that your calf is usually bigger than your knee measurement. And all you have to do is just to connect it all the way straight to this side. So if you have a hip cuff, you can go ahead and use that hip cuff. But if you don't have, you can simply use your hand. But I'll be using an hip cuff at this area. But first, just connect this together from here. Connect together from here also. Connect together, you see? And you see why I'm connecting here? I come out a little bit, just a little bit tiny, so I can still go up at that side. So I'll be using the hip cuff to do the full connection at this place. So here, without having to stress yourself too much, it's basically very, very simple. All you have to do is to simply place this right here, just like so, you see, all the way like this. This place, you see what I have here? Simply connect it together. See what I have? So at this place, it's basically very simple also. I'll be going like this. All the way here. So go back over like this. And once I get to this place, I'm going to make a curve like this. All the way to the end. See what I have? I'm going to simply connect it like so. So that is my entire front pant button. You see that? It's actually quite simple. If you look at it like this, you see what I have all the way to the top. It's actually very, very simple. So here on the leg, before we cut it out, all you have to do is just like make a little bit of... At this place, all you have to do is just make a little bit of slant like this, slant like this. And we are going to simply cut it all out. So that is the entire process of cutting the pant is all you're going to have so after that is done the next thing is to cut out the back panel so without having to stress yourself just drag this one to the front so i'm going to take this out of here so once you align this remember this is how we cut the pant we cut it and we cut it out from this shape. All you have to do is just to turn it like this. You see what I did? Just turn it like this and simply place all of this right here. Just like so. What I have, just like so. And once you have this straight part looking like this, I'm going to trim out this part first. All the way to this edge, I'll trim it out all the way to this edge so I can have a straight shape to work. I have a straight shape to work with. So from here, I'm going to lift this curve a little bit up, just like so. I'm just going to cut it out. So this is going to be my flap cover, that's a zip cover. So here, once you have this, the next thing is to simply push it backward a bit. So here, from this side, I'm going to be having a gap of 2 inches maximum, 2 inches here. I'm going to drag this backward. Two inches, put out, see that? Two inches at this place. The space between the trouser and the back is going to be two inches, right? 
and at this place, the space between the trouser is going to be at 3 inches. It's going to be at 3 inches. You can see that. And you know, once this place is 2 inches and this place is 3 inches, that means the trouser will go down like this, like this, like this. So that is the importance of trouser. So once you have this, the next thing at this place is basically simple. This is the most important part. So let me just shift the camera to this side a bit. I'm not sure. Okay. So at this place now, basically very simple. What I'll be doing here now is I will increase the height of the back here. Increase this by... inches this extension by one inch you see that so from here I'm going to connect this place together with this see that and from here I'm going to connect this place to the crotch length you see where I stopped it so I'm going to increase the length of this place you see that from there that's the completion of the length I'm going to simply make a straight line at this place. Make a cuff at this place. So basically, that is the back cutting. That's how to cut the back out. It's as simple as this. So all you have to do here is to simply cut out a cuff. what I have and at this edge we're going to call this as possible so that is the entire process of cutting the pants all you have to do now is just to cut your um, your waistband do the pocket area and do the sewing it's as simple as abc to see the other video i already made a video on how to complete cutting and sewing it's on the channel go ahead and watch that and that's about it on cutting the trouser i will see you on the next video do have a lovely rest of the day peace